Hey everyone, so I do this series called Not Caddy and Addy. Now this is when I review video games and other stuff, but I'm just going to be showing you the video game stuff. Now I'm going to pack the stuff that I can into this, and I guess we call this part one, and then there'll be other ones to come, so this is a pack review thing. So yeah, um, enjoy. Yeah, again, yeah. Oh, um, you just caught me. <laughs> I'm one of them, so I think you can't see it. Welcome to today, talking about Uncharted 4. Stop the intro, please. <laughs> I love this game so goddamn. Nice. I've been playing it recently, and I've been releasing parts on the Addis Games channel where I do gaming videos and have a series called Addis at Gaming Time and this game I'm so thankful that I got myself to buy it now Uncharted 4 well oh, do I really have to explain the storyline no let me just explain the storyline to this one instead of the whole series Uncharted 4 is basically the last game with Nathan Drake and Elena and Sully. Now, this game is different. You have Crash Bandicoot references, a level that you can play on, and also you have boulder chase levels and chase scenes, gunfight scenes, different type of bosses. Um, this is something out here. Oh, you get to play as kids, you get to play as the young Samuel and Nathan Drake do and also they explore it a bit more and I personally like the voice acting and how it's all done in Uncharted 4 than Uncharted 3. I have actually got the Nathan Drake collection but I won't be, re I won't be releasing parts to the Alice Games channel just yet because I want to play through some of it but I have watched the gameplay of some games and to be honest I love this one so much and the voice actors are amazing. Did you know, fun fact, the guy who voiced Crash Bandicoot in Crash Bandicoot 1 did not come back to do this because we haven't actually heard of this actor for some time now. Um, he stopped doing Crash Bandicoot games quite a while back, I think back in 2004 or 3. Um, but what they did is that you can actually hear some of the sounds of what Crash makes. All right. You know those sounds are... You know that one? Yeah, well, they have changed some stuff because some of the animations are different and new stuff that we can see in the original game. But some of the little glimpses of the voice actor of Crash Bandicoot from the original Crash Bandicoot one can be heard in this game, even though he is not present in this whatsoever. So that's a fun fact. Yeah. And I'm also quite happy that I've actually got this game because I like Uncharted 4 than the original games. Now I've played a little bit of Uncharted 1. It's not as good, like the gun combat is not as good, the jumping is not as good, you can die easily, you can. And I feel like this game does it perfectly. And some of the stuff here will get, will be in the Lost Legacy that is coming out within this month, which is fantastic. The combat skills, the driving scenes and also some newer stuff will be in the Lost Legacy. Now, um, what do I think about the game entirely to make a good point? Wow. To be honest, I feel like the game is amazing and I feel like it's kind of like, well, it's like Batman Arkham Knight met, oh, I don't know, Crash Bandicoot, met Uncharted 3, and then made Uncharted 4. That so what, like, what would I say of how good this is? I would say this is amazing. Like, I, I would, like, the score of this, I would basically say, I would give it a, um,
a complete 10 out of 10. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. I know, I know that most games are not even that much perfect at all. Like, sometimes this game has glitches, or sometimes there's not that much good, but to be honest, I love this game so much, and it emotionally taps you to um, Nathan Drake, it does. So, um... <laughs> yeah... You know I forgot to do something, I forgot to do something in the last two months. Um, Oh god damn it, I might as well say now. Greetings and salutations people. Today we're gonna to be reviewing Uncharted 4. Oh fine, I'll do the questions. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching today's video like always. Now um I am gonna be doing this until he gets to 10k so if you want me to stop promoting him, just go ahead and subscribe to him. Alright, so Yax TV is a YouTuber that has n is nearly up to the 10k point. And he doesn't have that, but he also has a merch store. So, yes. So go and check it out. And I believe there's a free shipping code up there at the moment. And it ends uh, soon. It does. So, anyway. Um... Thank you guys for watching, and if it's your birthday today, happy freaking birthday to you, and please remember to. Now there's one thing I do know, Caddy has actually been redundant to actually talk about Spyro. In fact, the only Spyro stuff that he's actually talked about in a sense, apart from his list-based videos, is Spyro Into the Dragonfly and Spyro 3. Nothing else. Yes, he's talked about this and how people... Um, he likes it and he and it, people are not really much liking this but to be honest, I like Heroes Tell quite as well as any other person would. Now, of course this game doesn't have some good stuff which is not that many but it also achieves some stuff that we knew from Spyro 2 and also 3. Now, just to be clear, I have never, never played Spyro 1. And this is my favourite Spyro game ever. Now one of the things I want to go over with this game is, well, that first the story mode. The story mode is basically that Wed is here. He used to be one of the dragons, but now he's turned evil and now he has planted dark gems, made minions, and also uh, created two boss battles. One of them being Nasty York, which was in Spyro 1, and one of them being some other fish lady, whatever, I can't remember her name. So, that's that. Pretty nice boss battles, and when you do defeat them, you get a new breath ability you do. And also, when you defeat Wed twice in two different locations, you unlock another breath ability. And then after you defeat Wed for the second time, you are basically left off exploring the whole, like, area of the whole realm of Spyro a Hero's Tale. Also, you're able to play as different characters, some from Spyro 3, and some from other um, games, and including some newer characters here also. Now, before we go on any longer, uh, sorry, I've got the fan, it's just, um, people are talking in, in the... I'm sorry, it's just flipping in the way. I'm finding annoying as well. So, Hero's Tale is a game that not many people really liked. Like, it was a game that didn't really have the insomniac formula. Now, to be honest, I prefer this game than anything else. Like, we know Hunter, we know Sergeant Bird, and there's some human characters. Now, on the stuff that I don't like, oh, um, um, there are stuff that I do like. I do like the boss battles. I do like many, many stuff on light gems and everything else. And to be honest, if I was going to be really strictly honest about this one, I'm going to give Spyro Hero's Tale a 9.5 out of 10. You go down to meet the day, you'll find a joy surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you're gonna get surprised. Wherever 
Spirals, spirals, ba 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 ba, and da 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 da. Hello, thank you guys for watching. Um, just a quick promotion to something else. Please go ahead and subscribe to Yags TV and also there's some little stuff um, that I also want you to go and check out in the, the description below. And also they have a merch store as well. You're able to go and buy t-shirts and also um, stuff for the home and accessories and much more. And you can sign up for some updates by clicking the follow button on the this page. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If it if it's your birthday today, happy freaking birthday to you! And please remember to. Hello. So this is not really anything new. In fact, you could relate this a lot to not caddy. But today we're going to be doing something new that would be addy. Now this is something I'm going to start trying out where I don't want to go all. Uh, joking serious. Now I have filmed this about twice already because I don't like the words I say in this. So we're going to go through this once again. <sighs> we're going to try something different as of it won't be anything like not caddy. Might have the same outro but no intro whatsoever. And instead I'll make this part of the LPQX stuff and also Addy. Now this is also for the people who want to see me do something original with Addy, a bit like not Caddy. So if this bores you out then well you asked for this. Intro. I said at the start that I thought I was going to do a few of PlayStation 3, but instead we're going to do part one of the Nathan Drake collection. And when I mean part one, because I haven't played the full games yet, I am trying to, but I am stuck on the level with Uncharted 2. So I'm guessing we're going to take the longer lines of that, we're going to talk about Uncharted 1 and Uncharted 2, and we'll talk about more details including Uncharted 3 in another video, so you can call this part one. Okay, so starting off with the first game, Uncharted 1. I've gotten up to the point where you are running away from people and also shooting. You're with Elena and Sully is dead. And I know he's alive later on, like... He's, he's alive in Uncharted 4, like, what do you need to expect? The Nathan Drake collection, just to prove a mind, is the collection of 1, 2 and 3 on the PlayStation 4. These are original games made by Naughty Dog, the guys who made Crash Bandicoot. So, that's that. So, Uncharted 1 is a good game, but not too good. See, the thing is, this was originally, originally released on the PlayStation 3 back in 2006 or 7. And, at the time, the controls for games like this were new, same like Batman Arkham Asylum or City or Origins. And then we got it all improved because, to be honest, the controls in Uncharted 1 is not that good. You could be climbing on something and then jump to your death. Or you could be jumping from a long distance, like for instance, there's like a circle and then you've got pathways here. The circle's to your death and you, and you need to jump, jump. If you don't jump far enough, you could just jump to your death. And the gun combat is not actually that good. I'm guessing for when it came out on PlayStation 3 originally, for it or for its time it was good. But I don't think it's that good nowadays. I would recommend Uncharted 4 and The Lost Legacy because I heard they have similar controls and everything is better and Samuel Drake is in both of the games. Now by saying that, do I think it sucks? Well, yeah, again, this is only part one, so I can't say. So, and I'm not even going to give you a review number of this. So, unfortunately, well, let's move on to Uncharted 2. Now, Uncharted 2 takes place after Uncharted 1, like, like all timelines, a couple of years. After. <coughs> um, Uncharted 2. Now, I've gotten up to the part where... They are still showing you the stupid instructions and you're in the museum trying to steal something for your client with like Chloe and Harry. And I'm still trying to figure out how to get over this thing of the sneaking part. 
and it's a nightmare. I don't like the controls at all in Uncharted 2, and I feel like they just made it worse from Uncharted 1. But yeah, yeah, I do have to give them some credit because the storyline, and if you want to know who Chloe is, I recommend playing the older games and playing Uncharted 4's more multiplayer or survival mode to actually know who Chloe is. Because Chloe is not in Uncharted 4, but you get to play as her in survival and multiple things, whatever. But to Un Uncharted 2, um, at the moment I would say it's okay. That's all I'm really going to say. Uncharted 2 is not bad, it's not awful, it's just okay. But one day I will give you a full review of these games in different parts, so I can have more videos to release. Now as of Uncharted 3, I have not started that one, but I'm quite keen of starting that one, because that looks more exciting than anything else. But, my favourite Uncharted game is still Uncharted 4. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this um, Addy uh, review of the Nath of the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection. Now, once again, I'm doing this because my Crash Transanity may come to PlayStation 4. Got a lot of dislikes and comments saying that you're stealing Caddy's likeness and this is rubbish and whatever. So I'm doing this just to prove to you that Reviews are not original, everyone does it, and we're going to keep on doing it. But I will not be naming myself not Caddy, uh, the, the thumbnails might have something similar, and I will be actually still crediting Caddy in, Caddy was in the description because I'll still be using his intro. It's just I will be kind of like clickbaiting you and fooling you from now on instead of doing that other way. And I'm actually quite shocked that that video has got a lot of views. I wasn't really expecting it. And it's a good video, it's just people don't like it because I'm imitating Caddy. In some sort of a way, you could say no, Caddy is a parody, because I've parodied Caddy's beforehand. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm um, official birthday to say happy freaking birthday to you. Well, remember to click on the stuff at the end, and please remember to. Hi, so before we start, I want to make it perfectly clear that this camera is good, it's amazing. Um, even though it's good, at the moment I can only record 10 minutes and 23 seconds of video on it. So I'm still going to be using this one because these Panasonic ones were the ones I got started on. Without these existing, YouTube will probably have been harder to me. Now today as the title, as you know, we're not going to be reviewing the camera. No. Instead, because this camera can wait another day. We're going to be reviewing this microphone. We are. It's basically a. They call it the Fit Mic Go. They do. Now, we are going to be doing views mainly on Wednesdays, but today there's some stuff I want to go over, and I'm not going to be saying. And I feel I feel like this is rude if people do say this. Do not buy this microphone. I'm not going to tell you to do that, it's your choice. So at the moment, the sound quality is okay, but you can hear me properly, you can. You can hear my voice and as I turn it up in the editing software, you can hear me quite well. Now the camera quality is not as good as the one I have used, but when you use this, you, uh, there's some flaws and there's some issues, but there's also some good stuff. I want, I want to go over the good stuff first, but first I'm going to tell you about this. I got this microphone off Amazon, and I'm, I'm assuming Yax TV still uses this one. Yeah, this is the same microphone that Yax TV uses, assumingly, because it's been a while since everything since he made first made that what I use video I know he's gonna make an updated version of it but yeah this is the same mic that Yax TV uses now um I bought this for about um, 55 pounds on Amazon which in America um, translates to 98 dollars I think it is now this microphone is basically it's something like
plug in, plug out, and this bit goes into your camera. Now I'm not so sure if this works with the camera that I'm using at the moment because, well, when I put it in and um, when I did like a test filming, it did not really work that well. But that's not what we're here for. I'm here to tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. So um, just a little test to see how, um, just to get a bit of a feel how the microphone is without the microphone. Um, this is how it is. It's basically, I'm not too sure how you can hear it, but it's quiet. But it's also, I don't know, it's okay and it works. It does. The things that I don't like about this camera, I could go on for days, but I'll try not to go on for too long. The first thing is that you have to manually set this up. Like, as soon as you plug it in, you may see some issues with the camera as of you may hear a hissing noise there is a way to get rid of that as of you need to put it up to the right sensitive level as of like a different number under at least nine and, and then you're all good to go kind of as soon as you finish filming you will realize that oh wait a minute it's not that loud depending what either audio software that you've got or video editing software, you're able to raise it up and it will sound better like I'm now. Now I've tested this out and it works. It doesn't work on Windows Movie Maker unfortunately, but it does work on Wondershare, one of the examples. It may work on your video editing software, whatever, but um, that's why one of the reasons why I'm doing this with you with this camera, because it's easier to do it like this. The microphone, and I'm really going to say this, the microphone is better on this camera. I have nothing coming out, right, there's no, I don't have like another one of these. I've only just got the one. Now, I'm still learning, alright, and as I'm editing this not caddy um, episode, I realise that the voice is not that loud. And at the moment, it's just like, when it's not loud, I don't feel enthusiastic to film, I mean to edit. Now, I will be editing it later, but I just feel that I'll do something a bit more easier and get something out and then on, the, on another day go back to it. But, so, just to recap again. The first thing I don't like about this is that the microphone sensitivity is quiet. The, the second thing is that when you're editing it, sometimes you can hear hissing noises or you need to turn this up. Now, I will say that this microphone works. That's the good thing. But the bad thing about it is that it doesn't, it's not loud enough because, well, like, if you do take this off the camera, then it'll work perfectly because you're using the microphone that's built into the camera. But then when you buy something like this, it's like, uh, it's hard to figure out how to put the sensitivity noise up a notch. You can try, but there is no way to do it on the camera that much. But there is a way to do it on the computer. Now, most of the time, I've got the microphone all good. I don't have to edit that much, but with this, it looks like I will have to. And it's just like, that will make me less likely to use this. I'll use it for its value, because like, I bought it, so I might as well just use it. But just to think that, how did Yags TV, like, if he ever had like the same issue of this, I um, just want to show you. Because I know there is like another one where there's something coming out of here. And yeah, so this is literally this, the same one, hopefully, that he uses. Um, but I'm just wondering, how did he ever come across this issue? Like, did he like ever experience it before? Because uh, maybe he has, but if so, please tell me how you fixed it or what you did or what you used because that would be amazing. Um, I'm guessing apart from all the things I don't like, I would say, in my opinion, my opinion, buy it.
I would literally just buy it for beginners. And if you like it, keep it. And if you want to get another one, get another one. Originally I was going to get something else less than this and a bit cheaper, but I just thought, considering I've got an expensive camera now, might as well get expensive microphone and I'm going to do the same with the lights. So yeah, so that's my review of the Wode um, microphone. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's uh, first review of something that's technical. Now, the next one we are going to be reviewing some different stuff that's got to do with tech. We will review like a PlayStation 3, uh, my new camera, we'll go above that. But yeah, um, I'm thinking there may be a part two to this because I might have more to say about it once I've learned about it so but this is part one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and bearing with me. Um, don't worry, I will be using the other camera a bit more. It's just, um, I feel like for the video, for the two videos I have done and for putting in the vlog, it has worked. But for doing videos that are supposed to be entertaining and entertaining you guys to put music in the background, it doesn't seem to like that. So I'm still working it around and you're still going to have to deal with this camera for a bit longer. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to go now. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.